So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because of the length of the question. Translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. And all this strategy means is that we're going to not read the entire question all at once. We're going to read it one sentence at a time, making sure to stop, draw anything we may need to draw, write down anything we may need to write down, definitely take note of all quantitative information and try to make sense of any, um, any information that's provided to us before we just keep on reading the question. So let's get started. So the question says, while preparing to run a marathon, Amelia created a training schedule in which the distance of her longest run every week increased by a constant amount. All right, so before I move on, it makes sense she has a schedule and her long run increases by a constant amount, almost like a slope, right? Slope is a constant amount of increase. So the next sentence says, if Amelia's training schedule requires that her longest run in week four is a distance of eight miles. Okay, so now I'm going to say this is week one, longest run, week two, week three, and week four. Week four, I know, is eight miles. All right, so here's my visual. You may, you may want to write it a little bit differently, but for me, this makes sense. Um, so week four is her longest, her longest run, and it's eight miles. Uh, and her longest run in week 16 is 26 miles. Okay, so do I really want to make 16 of these spaces? Not really, but I will. Uh, so another one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this would be week 16, and that is 26 miles. Which of the following best describes how the distance Amelia runs changes between week four and week 16 of her training schedule? All right, so that's all we know, right? So this entire visual that I have here is the translation of what I just read. We know that it's increasing by some constant amount. So I can do this, right? There's some plus X that this increases by every single week. Right? So even down to the next one is plus X. And we know that at week four, she's at eight miles, but by week 16, she's up to 26 miles. So because there's nothing else I can do with this information, um, I am going to go straight to the answer choices. So choice A says Amelia increases the distance of her longest run by 0 0.5 miles each week. Well, if that were the case, that means that we'd have 8.59, 10, 10.5, 12. And you can already tell by that point, we're not going to make it to 26 on just a uh, 0.5 increase. So that cannot be correct. And that means that choice A is out. Choice B says Amelia increases the distance of her longest run by two miles. Well, let's check that out. So this becomes 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So this is, that's going to be too much, right? Because we already hit 26 right here. So that means choice B is out. Let me just get some of this erased. Okay. And choice C says Amelia increases the distance of her longest run by two miles every three weeks. So if she's at eight here, then this is week five, week six, week seven, then she'd be at 10 miles here. I think that's going to be too slow, right? So week eight, week nine, week 10, then she'd barely beat a week to 12 miles. That is, we're not going to get to 26 going that way. So choice D better be the right answer, but let's just check it and make sure. So Amelia increases the distance of her longest run by 1.5 miles per week. So that would tell us that she's at 9.5 here, and then 11, and then 12.5, and then 14, and then 15.5, and then 17, 18.5, and 20. 21.5 and 23, 24.5 and perfect 26. So choice D must be the correct answer.